guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's been a long time since i made a sit down video and i am making this video kasi marami nang nagtatanong about college admissions especially the mpas exam so for those who don't know i study in mapua in intramuros branch so may dalawang branch si mapua and that is in makati and intramuros since last year mpas then yung ginawang like um, college admission ng Mapua. This year, nabalitaan ko rin na MPAS pa rin ang gagawin ng Mapua. So, today we will just be talking about the MPAS exams, the uh, before the exams, during the exams, and after the exams. So, I will guide you step by step sa kung anong na experience ko last year sa MPAS exam. Sana hindi kayo ma-bother kasi nandito yung notes ko about the MPAS exams and ayoko lang kasi ma-miss out. Baka lang kasi may malimutan ako na important information about the MPAS exam kaya lagi akong natingin dito. Ayun, marami nang nagtatanong sa akin and there are also people who are direct messaging me about the MPAS exams and uh, na magsimula muna tayo din sa before the exam. So, number one is the review process. So, last year, although hindi pa nung time na yun nade-discuss kung tuloy nga ba ang uh, CETs or yung mismong pupunta tayo din sa university to conduct the exams, nag-review center pa rin ako. And then, yung pinag-enrollan ko na review center is yung sa brain train review center. And although it is on the pricier side kasi umabot siya ng 8k for one month. And dun sa 8k na yun, kasama na rin yung review materials and yung shipping fee nung review material. And in the end, napakasulit niya kasi yung mga teachers sa uh, brain train, napaka passionate nila and they are jolly as well. Like hindi mo mararamdaman na napaka strict uh, teachers nila. It's very comfortable and like matitaken aback ka on how they teach the students. Just like what I've said, they are jolly people and lagi silang tawa na tawa. Yun yung napansin ko. Kaya hindi mo talaga mararamdaman yung kaba. It's a positive learning environment although it's held online. So for the alternative, maraming namimigay ng review material sa Facebook and naka Google Drive pa yun mismo and then there are times pag napaswerte ka dun sa group page na sinalihan mo sila mismo yung nagtuturo about that particular subject and then meron din na nag administer sila ng online exam as much as possible take that advantage and hanapin nyo lang sa Facebook i-type nyo yung CET Reviewers 2021 or CET Reviewers 2022 and marami ka nang makahanap na group page na pwede yung salihan. Next, this is still before the exam, would be the research. Okay? Pinaka-importante na nata to kasi um, if you don't know mapuwa sa university, plano nyo mag uh, MPAS, I suggest na mag-research ka muna about mapuwa. Kasi <laughs> from my experience, um, dati, narinig nirinig ko ng um, Mapua. Hindi ko man lamang siya, like, ginawa ng research about it. And ngayon, nung first semester, like, <laughs> nahirapan ako ng medyo, ng medyo, ng kauntian. Kasi, yun nga, nagulat ako sa on how the university administer the whole school year. Or the whole term or semester. Nagulat talaga ako dun. <laughs> So, as much as possible, research about Mapua University. Mas lalo na kung hindi mo ganun kakilala pa ang Mapua. So, what I would suggest you to do is take time in reading Mapua's requirements for the students. Yes, may requirements sila para sa mga students nila. And makikita nyo naman yun sa website nila. Yung mga requirements, magbibigay na rin ako dito para may mga tips na rin kayo, is... Um, example is the laptop requirements once na natanggap ka na sa Mapua. Um, ang alam ko nasa at least basta meron silang speci specifications na nilagay doon sa kung ano dapat ang gamitin mong laptop. Especially for those uh, engineering and architecture uh, courses. And then uh, of course you have to research as well the quarter system ng Mapua kasi noon hindi ko talaga alam na may quarter system or quarter system ang mapuwa. Kaya, ayun, 
medyo na shook ako. <laughs> and the next one is the tuition fees. Of course, you have to know how much you're gonna pay every semester. Um, especially, meron naman sila dong like detailed list ng kung magkano ang magiging um, tuition mo every sem. And next one, of course, the courses that they offer. Baka mamaya pumasok ka sa Mapua na wala naman pala dun yung preferred course mo. Okay? And then, ano pa? These are just some of the examples of the requirements. And next one, number three, is about the admissions. So, once you've considered na gusto mo talagang like pumasok sa Mapua or gusto nyong itry yung MPAS exam ng Mapua, syempre, mag-start na tayo with the admissions or the registration part or process. So, with the admission process, you have to read it twice or thrice para sure na sure kayo sa mga nilalagay ninyong information on the website. And then, napakadali lang naman mag-comply sa kanilang mga requirements na hinihingi sa'yo. Just make sure na tama ibinibigay ninyo ng requirements sa kanila. So, dun sa website naman nila, there is like a step-by-step -step process. Kaya, kailangan mo lang yung gawin in order for you to access the MPAS exam. Like, for example, dun sa process na yun, you have to like put your yung basic information nyo which is the application form and then pay for the MPAS fee and then upon paying the MPAS fee yun, magkakaroon ka na ng access to the MPAS exam and yes, may bayad siya last year, it costed me 550 pesos and this year, ang alam ko ay bumaba na siya yung kanyang presyo ang alam ko is nasa 300 na lang ata siya this year, but I'm not yet entirely sure about the price talaga. Next, um, paano ko siya binayaran yung MPAS fee? Uh, meron doon iba't ibang options on how you're gonna pay the MPAS fee, pero ang sa akin pinili ko is yung sa Cebuana Luillier. So, yun, meron lang meron nga ba siya? May fee siya, yeah. May fee siya na kaunti lang naman, hindi man siya abot ng 100. Siguro man nasa 20 plus, ganun, or below 20 pa nga. Hindi ko lang mahandaan, pero mura lang siya yung ano additional fee. And then, ano pa ba? So, upon payment, you have to wait for at least one to two business days before ma-process siya. And then, may mag-e-email na sa'yo na confirming that you paid na for the MPAS fee. And, eto, very important to na yung inyong email or gmail na ibibigay kay Mapua dun sa application for ninyo is a working email. Kasi, dun ka nila at kukontakin dun ka kukontakin ng mapuwa so as much as possible i-turn on ninyo yung notifications ng gmail ninyo or email para makita nyo kaagad yung email or gmail ni mapuwa sa'yo so ayun, after nyo ma-receive yung email na yan from mapuwa nandun na lahat ng details na kakailangan ninyo to access the MPAS exam now, you have the option to take it agad or wag muna. The MPAS exams, in my experience, don't have due dates. So, at your own pace talaga yung pagsasagot ninyo sa MPAS exam. So that you won't feel pressured. So, what I did last year is that I reviewed for 4 hours in the span of 5 days straight. 5 days straight. As in, parang nagsimula ako is Saturday, nag-review. Then, or Sunday. Then, Friday ko tinake yung MPAS exam. Yung ginamit ka na review material na nagre-review ko is yung uh, ma review material na binigay sa akin ni Brain Train. So, sinagutan ko lang yung mga questions doon. So, before taking the exam, ako, ito na ha. Ito na yung pinaka-importante nung before taking the exam. I require you, oo, uh, require kita, <laughs> na you should use laptop or PCs when taking the exam. It is much more safer to do it on a laptop or on your PCs para hindi ka mahassle while you're answering your exam. Hey, it's me. So, makikisikit lang ako kasi medyo ako nahirapan sa pag-explain dito sa part na to which is an important tip for you guys kasi um, before taking the exam, you must have a strong internet connection. Mind you, the MPAS exam 
has a timer or time-bounded yung MPAS exam. So, let's say, habang nag exam ka, biglang humina yung internet connection mo or sadyang mahina talaga yung internet connection mo, yung timer dun sa exam, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yan kahit mahina yung internet connection mo. And by that time na biglang lumakas na yung internet connection mo, makikita mo na lang na tapos na or hindi mo na matetake yung exam kasi ubos na yung time mo para sa exam na yun. So, as much as possible, siguraduhin ninyo na before taking the exam, malakas yung internet connection ninyo and such. If ever man, kung wala kang tiwala talaga sa internet connection mo or sa wifi connections ninyo, then have a backup um, internet provider. The, uh, magpa-load kayo or something and as much as possible, iwasan ninyo na maiwan sa ere or biglang humina yung internet connection ninyo and then maubos yung time ninyo for your exam. Next one is of course, ihanda nyo na rin yung inyong pens and papers for the solution. Kung ngayon, mag-proceed na tayo to the actual exam. So, for the actual exam, the platform that you'll be using in taking the exam is through Blackboard. So, um, Blackboard is an online classroom platform. So, para siyang Canva or Google Classroom. Uh, yung exam is time-bounded and it is a multiple choice exam. Multiple choice, yes guys. For the content of the exam, for those who don't know it yet, ang um, content ng exam ng MPAS is math and English lang. Yes, math and English. Walang uh, science, wala, walang critical thinking, abstract thinking, kung ano man ang merong thinking, walang ganon. And wala rin nung Filipino. Wala rin. Nga ba? OMG. <laughs> Pero ano ko wala? Kasi alam ko talaga, math and English lang talaga yung subjects na nag-minister sa MPAS exam. With math, more on algebra, geometry, Try go, may stat, and then gen math. And for the English, more on grammar siya. So, yung subject verb agreement, spot which one has the correct sentence structure, true, true, and so on. Yan. For the items, kung ilan siya, all in all, I actually can't remember. But the duration of the exam, sa pagkakatanda ko, uh, is 3 hours and 30 minutes. Kasi last year, tanda ko, tinake ko yung exam ng... 10 a.m. and then natapos ako is 1.30 p.m. For the exam pala, hindi siya yung once na na-access mo na siya through blackboard, dire-diretso na siyang, ano, yung lalabas agad yung exam and then mag, uh, mag-start na rin yung timer. Hindi siya ganun. Folder by folder yung exam ninyo. So, for example, for math, since dalawa lang naman yung subject na makakover niya, for example, inuna mo muna si math. So, pag pinindot mo si math, may mga folders doon. Hindi ko lang tanda kung ilang folders for math. Pero, ang tanda ko talaga meron yung folders. So, for the folders, doon sa folder number 1, 1 to 10 lang siya, ganun. Pero, hindi ko tanda kung 1 to 10 nga ba yung folder number 1. It's either 1 to 10 or 1 to 15, ganun. And then, by folder 2, 1 to 15 ulit. Folder number 3, 1 to 15 ulit. So, Ayun, naka-chop-chop siya. Hindi siya yung diretsong uh, 1 to 90. 1 to 90 na items for the math section. And then, kailangan mo siyang sagutan within 3 hours. Yung parang isang upuan mo siyang sasagutan. Hindi siya ganun. Naka-chop-chop siya for your own convenience. Para if ever man, siguro ginawa nila to, if ever man na kung mare, biglang mawalan ka ng internet connection, ganun para hindi sayang yung pagsagot mo for 3 hours straight, diba? You have the choice to answer it all agad-agad or part by part. For example, for math, uh, sasagotin mo muna ngayon is from folder 1 to 3, then kinabukasan 3 to 6. And then the other day, English naman, folders 1 to 2. The next day ulit, uh, 3 to 4, mga ganun. So, para talaga siyang at your own pace yung pagsagot ninyo na exam. So, let's proceed na today after the exam. So, if gusto mong itake ka agad yung exam, in just one sitting, you could do so. Just like what I did, ganun ang ginawa ko. Kung ganun nga ang ginawa mo, pagkatapos na pagkatapos mo with your exam, lalabas na rin agad-agad yung results mo. 
And hindi siya yung results na we're in. Sa math, ikaw ay 99 over 100, ganun. Sa English, ikaw ay 50 over 100. Hindi nila pinakita yung score o hindi ko lang hinanap yung score ko nun. Kasi wala ko matandaan kung may nilabas sila na score about my MPAS exam. Basta parang dineretsyo nila kaagad ako dun sa mga courses kung saan nakapasa ako. So, what I mean is that after ko kasi nitake yung exam, bigla nila akong dinerect to another website ba yun? Or another page wherein uh, meron dun drop down button. And you have to click that to see the courses kung saan nakapasa ka. Hinanap ko nun yung BS Chemistry since yun nga yung kukunin kong course and nandun siya. And pag nakita ninyo yung preferred course ninyo dun sa drop down button na yun, it means you pass. But if you did not see your preferred course upon clicking the drop down button, that means you did not pass for your preferred course or yung first choice ninyo na course. That doesn't mean na hindi ka na makakapasok sa makuha kasi dun sa mismong page na yun, if you scroll down, may makikita dun na if you don't see your uh, preferred course, uh, please uh, message this certain department to reconsider your course or something parang ganun. Parang reconsideration siya ang mangyayari. Now, unfortunately, I cannot guide you all the way through that process, yung reconsideration process, pero basta sundan nyo lang yung instructions na binigay ni Makua sa website na yun and I'm sure you'll be fine. So, for those na mga nakapasa and nakita ka agad yung kanilang course, then congratulations! So, dito na mangyayari yung reservation part mo. Uh, Idadirect ulit dun sa reservation fee mo, chuchu na gano'n na kailangan mo munang magbayad ng 5k para masecure yung slot mo sa course na kinuha mo. So, uh, ayun. If sure ka na talaga na sa makuha kang mag-aaral, then pay for the 5k reservation fee. And then, if naglabas si makuha ng, for example, from November 1 to 5, pag binayaran mo yung iyong tuition, may bawas na 2k yung iyong tuition fee. Now, don't expect na mababawasan nga talaga ng 2k yung tuition mo for the first SEM. mag apply lang yun sa second SEM pa. Okay? So, huwag kayong magtataka kung bakit full payment pa rin ang gagawin ninyo if sinabi naman ni Mapua na may bawas siya na 2k pa nagbayad ka within the dates that they required you to pay for the tuition. So, sa second SEM pa siya maa-apply guys. But if ever na maglabas ng ganun si Mapua, take that opportunity as well para may bawas yung um, tuition fee mo for the next SEM. Now, after nun, after you pay for the reservation fee, parang dito na rin magsisimula yung pagpili mo ng um, section and yung um, time sa kung anong mas, sa kung anong preferred mo na time or start ng klase mo. So, it's either AM or PM. And at that time, pinili ko is AM. Kasi nung tinignan ko yung schedule ko for PM, meron akong klase hanggang alas 6 o hanggang 8.30 or 8 PM ng gabi. And uh, ayoko ng ganun as much as possible. Kaya pinili ko talaga is AM. Although, gigising ako ng 7.30 ng umaga. So, after you choose all of your class schedules, dun mo na rin makikita yung mga subjects na kukunin mo eh, or yung itetake mo. Although, hindi mo pa makikita dun kung sino yung magiging prof mo. So, from then on, magiging smooth na yung transaction mo. Like I said, madali lang naman yung whole process of enrolling in Mapua. Basta, just make sure to follow the instructions. Read it twice, read it thrice. Then, that's it. You're officially a uh, cardinal. <laughs> Congratulations! Yay! So, that's it. If you have any more queries about the MPAS or college admissions, any college admission advice, tips, or anything, uh, feel free to DM me on my Instagram account. It's at l.mariz. And you can also comment down below your questions and I'll gladly answer them all. So... I hope you learn or pick up a thing or two from this video. And for those na balak talaga magmapuwa, see you on Mapuwa. 
and thank you very much for watching until the end see you on my next video bye